New York City is a metropolis of 8.4 million people, and what they do every day is produce garbage. We have the most complex waste management system in North America. There's challenges, but there's also opportunities. The awareness of trash in general, I think, is growing in New York, not just the fact that it's a problem, but that there are the steps we as individuals can take to help lessen the quantity that we generate. If you're going to have this many people live on this little amount of land, you cannot do it without a lot of infrastructure. Every day, more than 7,200 men and women of the department go out in 2,000 collection trucks and collect 10,000 tons of residential waste and another 1,500 tons of recyclable material. Nobody ever finishes their coffee. Sanitation allows any city to thrive. And at the same time, we really only notice them when there's a mist pickup or when the truck is blocking a car and the motorist is irate. We take it for granted. New York City in the 19th century was, by contemporary standards, almost unimaginably disgustingly dirty in 1895. Colonel George Waring took over and immediately imposed very significant changes on the way the job of street cleaning and garbage collection were carried out. He imposed a military structure of hierarchy and accountability. He dressed the men in white, partly to associate them with public hygiene, and also to make it harder for them to sneak off to the pub for a pint. These were folks who were used to being scorned, and they became heroes. New York City's always struggled with where to dispose of its waste. For many years, we dumped it in the ocean. That became unacceptable. Ocean dumping was illegal already in the 1880s, but New York really was not capable of finding alternatives. So it took a US Supreme Court ruling that finally ended ocean dumping in New York in 1934. Robert Moses, who was in his ascendancy as a city planner, opened dozens of landfills and incinerators all over the city to handle the waste, because now that it could no longer go into the ocean, they had to come up with something else. We were running out of room in those landfills, so we needed to move to a different waste disposal system. So we moved very quickly once we closed that last landfill on Staten Island to these interim contracts where we are exporting our waste via truck. New York City currently exports 85% of its waste to landfills. It costs about $300 million a year to do that. And there across the region, the waste energy facility is in New Jersey, but we also have landfills in Pennsylvania and Virginia and upstate New York. Everything as normal, make sure you service all your schools, service all your baskets, and have a safe and pleasant day. One of the reasons why we're doing organics is we really take a hard look about what's in the waste stream. We have an enormous amount of food waste and leaf and yard waste in New York City. Organic material makes up about 35% of our waste stream. We're spending $85 million a year exporting it to landfills where it sits and releases harmful methane into the atmosphere. That organic material can be turned into a valuable product. It can be turned into compost, which is an organic fertilizer that you use in farms and gardens. It started about a year ago with a small community on Staten Island, a small community in the Bronx. It has since been expanded into a pretty large section of Brooklyn and Queens. We are serving 100,000 households, which is about 240,000 people. I get through the tightest of spots here in Fox Slope. It's like a constant video game. Bobbing, weaving, you know, cutting through cars. You learn, you learn how, you learn how the other person works. Yeah. Like we don't good. really like. I'm not like, all right, we're gonna do this, that. We just know how to work together. We've been working together all the time. Every day we're together. So, what about the smell? You become immune to it. An organic collection represents about a third of our waste. What's in your garbage? I don't think people realize how much food they throw away. 
And obviously, figuring out how to do organics is going to be very challenging in a city of this size. Recycling can actually sometimes be confusing. What to put where? I think that is always our biggest challenge, is education. What goes in the compost? What's in there? Eggshell, lemon. I was really excited when I heard that there was a pilot program for the city. It was really easy to implement. It took us about a month to change our habit. It wasn't a problem at all. We have a lot less trash. I mean, if you think about it, if we're recycling paper, glass, metal, plastic, and now food scraps, there's really not much left. It was just a matter of taking the food scraps instead of to the trash can, over to the compost bin. Depending on where you're located in the city, you might have your organics end up at a transfer station, and from that transfer station, the organic material is taken to a compost facility in upstate New York. I think the re organic recycling is one of the truest forms of recycling. It's bringing uh, unprocessed good to the earth again. Well, us being a regional farm allows us to take in the organic waste and create it into the compost. We're fortunate enough that we're a diverse enough farm where we can grow products from that compost on site and return them back into New York City, into restaurants and green markets. The evolution of what we could call trash consciousness went from not paying it much attention to making it part of a national conversation. And that moment helped us create all kinds of curbside recycling programs all over the country, all over the world, that are very effective in diverting trash from what would be a landfill or an incinerator to a repurposing, a reuse, a recycling facility. New York City has a lot of power. And I would hope that we would start to exercise that power in ways that change the relationship of the region to its wastes, to its recyclables, to the way that a discard is understood as you're going to bury it or you're going to figure out how to reuse it.